of Ray Gunter, or Gunner, who was the young man in his late 20s who was a complete innocent bystander, apolitical, not outspoken on anything having to do with James Meredith, decided that he wanted to come out here and see uh, history made that night. And I talked to his best friend in the, in the world, Charlie Berryhill, and Charlie Berryhill explained to me what they all went through and what happened that night. And um, Ray Gunner has been ignored by history. Paul Gehard has been properly honored and studied. But Ray Gunner goes down as some kind of ambiguous, who knows, was he a rioter? What was he doing there? And he was killed by a stray bullet around 11 o'clock that night. It might have been a marshal's, by the way. It might not have been. Uh, and that's no disrespect to the marshals. That's a reflection of the, the hell that they faced that night. They opened fire several times that night, by the way, unlike a lot of the history books. But um, Ray Gunner's family was very nice to me. I went out to see them east of Oxford. I wanted to understand who the young man was. And I got to know his brother, who was a university policeman in 1962. His wife was very gracious to me. And um, he, he had a daughter he never met because she was pregnant with the daughter at the time he died. And I got to sit down with, I, I wasn't prepared for this, but Ray Gunner's mother was right there on the porch. And she was very elderly. And uh, she asked me, she wasn't sure why I was there. And she said, did you know my, my son, my son Ray? He was a wonderful guy. And she started telling me the story of his life. And, and that was rather amazing.